Hello, this is Ryan Higley in the Instructional Technology Center, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, uploading and importing a test into Blackboard. Now, importing a test into Blackboard is sometimes can be a sort of frustrating thing because Blackboard wants it in a very specific way. You can't just take your Word document uh, that has your test and upload it into Blackboard. Uh, what you would have to do is you'd have to run it through a program called Respondus. And what Respondus is, is it looks at your text document and if you have it properly formatted, then it can give you a zip file that then Blackboard can read. So uh, if, you, if you have any questions about this or you would like to maybe start taking some of your Word document tests and uploading them into Blackboard and using all of the features in, in the quizzes and tests portion of Blackboard, uh, then talk to us in the Instructional Technology Center and we can definitely help you out with that. Um, but you might ha already have a zip file that either you've exported as one of your own tests or maybe a uh, book manufacturer has given you as part of their um, uh, their book. So if you already have that, uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So once inside of our uh, class, we're going to scroll down to the bottom where it has uh, course management. I'm going to close these just so it looks just like yours. And then inside of this control panel, we're going to go to course tools and near the bottom there's test surveys and pools. Okay. Once test surveys and pools have come up, really a test and a survey are exactly the same thing except for a survey isn't graded. So we're going to be doing tests because we want we do want them to be graded. We do want a column to be dropped into the grade center once we deploy them and everything. So that's where we're going to go. So I'm going to click on tests. And then I can see that I have a bunch of tests here that I've already uploaded. You might have, have none in here at this point, but that'll be okay. So we're not going to build a test. This is where we would go if we wanted to uh, create a test um, from scratch in Blackboard. So we don't want to do that. We already have one to import, so I'm just going to say import test. Okay, and then I'm going to browse to my computer to get it. So I already have this one up and I'm going to choose uh, quiz to zip and what respond us and usually what your book manufacturer and everything is it's going to be a zip file that they give you. That's really all that um, uh, Blackboard is going to understand. It's not going to understand that text file that you created it from but it needs that respond us zip file. So I'm going to choose CC quiz 2, say open and submit. Okay, and once it's once it's the uh, the import is complete, it's going to give me this screen that says that everything's okay. And how I can test this now is if I go into Course Tools, back into Test Surveys and Pools. Okay, and I'm going to click on Tests. And you can see that my CC Quiz Two is here. Now, if you wanted to really make sure, you could say Edit, and this would give you all of the uh, questions and answers that you had put in to respond us through there. So this all looks good to me. This would also be where if you wanted to change any of the points or point values, if you wanted to change the description, it automatically gives the description as respondus. So you might want to change that. You would just click on here and say edit. Or then we can also change any of the question settings too. Okay, so now that we're done with that, if I go back into my test surveys and pools and then click on tests, you can see that my CC Quiz 2 is actually not deployed. So it's in the Blackboard class right now, but it actually isn't available to students. Um, we haven't set any of the parameters for that yet. So if you wanted to do that, we could go over and choose, uh, you know, I have a link here already for quizzes, but if you just wanted to put it in course documents or create your own link, that would be fine too. But I'm going to click on quizzes. And then inside of here, I'm going to go to assessments and say test. Okay, now we can add the test that's already been in uh, our, our pool of tests that, that we had. So down here I see CC Quiz 2 and I'll hit Submit. Okay, so you can see up at the top that this has been a success. CC Quiz 2 was created and now I can, you know, here's the name of the, uh, uh, the test. I can change the description of it. I probably don't want it to say Respondus. I'll say Quiz 2. 
And then here's where you give all the parameters for the test. Do I want to make this available now? Do I want to give it multiple attempts? Uh, do I want the, the uh, students to be forced to complete it once they've started it so they only get one sitting? I can set timers for how long it would take or when this should display or when it should go away. I can also require a password for the test, which the only time I would ever suggest using that is if, let's say somebody uh, had a good excuse that they needed to retake the test, then you could redeploy the test and only make it pass, uh, password available so that other people that missed the test that didn't have a good excuse wouldn't be in there taking it on the sly. And then I can give it a due date and give them some uh, self-assessment options and all of those things before I start giving this, uh, this test out. So anyway, so once you're done with that, I'm just going to hit submit. And now my CC quiz is ready to go in Blackboard. Thank you for watching this instructional tutorial video from the ITC at CSU Pueblo.